Hello everyone and welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name is Brad and today we've got a special treat for you. We are out at Roush Creek Off Road Park and we actually have three different trail hawks that are going to be hitting the trails today. So we've obviously got mine behind me and then we've got one hanging out over there and then another one over here. And we're all just a little bit different in that over here has only upgraded his tires and the guy over here is completely stock. So there's no changes to yours, right? No, no, no. Major. completely stock. So it'll be interesting today as we go just to kind of see how the different Trailhawk models do. And we just want to invite you along. If you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, we're about to get started. We're airing down tires, and again, we want you to join us for the ride. I'm Costa um, from Philly. Uh, I have a 2020 uh, Trailhawk. Just got it day after Christmas, actually. It's about seven months old. It's gonna be the third time I'm out on, you know, the trails, and I'm learning from the self-proclaimed master here. No, there's no <laughs> self-proclaimed master, that's for sure. Yeah. If you think that, you're not watching my videos. Right, so. well, that's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so when you got the rock rails and stuff, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just excited to learn. I'm um, here, you know, got a little starstruck here, <laughs> meeting Brad. And I was looking, you know, it's gonna be a fun day. My name is Peter. I'm from just outside of New York City in a, a little uh, area about uh, 30 miles or so west. This is our first time going off-road in my 2018 Trailhawk. And I'm really looking forward to it. My first time here at Roush Creek as well. And my wife is here for the first time. We're gonna have a grand old time doing this. Uh, this is just a bone stock 2018 Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. We took the lower front fascia off. I put a uh, set of uh, Falcon Wild Peaks on here, but that's it. We've done no mods. We haven't uh, put any tire extenders or lifts or anything like that. So we're gonna see what this beast is capable of doing today. And boy, am I sure looking forward to doing it. Thanks. So if you caught our video, a couple of weeks ago you saw that we're going to try to start meeting up more regularly with people as we travel across the country and today is actually the first time that we're getting to do that so hopefully this this will give you a little bit of a taste of kind of what we were talking about and if you haven't been over to our website yet you're going to want to head over and check that out um, there's a spot you can sign up for our newsletter and that'll keep you posted on kind of when we're doing these trips as well as a survey that you can fill out on different parts of the country that you would be interested in kind of meeting up in. So we're just kind of doing that so that we can get some feedback from you guys as far as where you'd like to meet up and, and what you'd like to get going. So for this trip today, we decided that we were going to start out on some greens to kind of get people warmed up and then you're going to want to stick around for later on the video when we go ahead and we tackle um, a blue. We're gonna try to go up Crawler's Ridge, which is um, will be our second badge of honor trail for today.
Alright. Alright guys, so we just finished up Trail 11, which is a badge of honor trail. Um, honestly, it's a, it's a good mix between just regular forest roads, which just about any, anybody with high clearance could do. Um, but there are sections that get a little off camber, some steep approach angles. So it's, it's a good mix of both. So if you're just starting, in fact, the two guys that were with us are obviously just kind of starting out and haven't done a ton. And it seems to give them plenty of, um, a, a good mix, I think. There's, you get a little break when it's just the forest trails and um, and then there were definitely some technical situations where we had to get out and kind of use spotters and, and see, see where to go. Um, it did rain a bunch this week, so there were some puddles. One note about the puddles, it's definitely, this whole area is very rocky and so it's definitely not where you want to go charging through any kind of, um, of the water crossings because it, it seems to be really rocky on the bottom and you just don't know what's going to be sticking up out of that water or what might be right below the surface. So something to keep in mind there. But all in all, we're having a good time. We stopped for lunch. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna, we're gonna try to head over to a second badge of honor trail, which is this crawler ridge. It's rated as blue. Um, so seeing how some of these greens, I would've, to me, would've seemed a little more pushing the blue end. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go check it out, see if it's something we can do. It's kind of smacked right next to a green trail so it should be you know if we think we can't do it we should have ways out so anyway let's keep going If you bring that driver tire up over that left rock, it should be okay. Then both your tires will be on there. On the, this one, watch my approach coming in. I'm scared I'm going to hit good before I start going up. stairs. <laughs>
All right, so we just made it up Crawler Ridge, which is the second uh, Jeep Badge of Honor trail. Definitely, you don't want to try that in a Grand Cherokee without some good skid plating, rock rails, kind of the whole nine yards on there because there was a lot of scraping and dragging on the way up, but we got up it. All right, so I did a little scoping out of Crawler's Ridge, safest way down. There's like three or four ways up. We went up kind of the middle. I'm gonna try to turn around and head back down. I think I found a route down that looks maybe just a wee bit safer than the one we came up. So we're gonna try that one next and hopefully get down in one piece. watching the tree on the side of your car, so hold on. Right, guys we made it back in one piece everybody made it out good I kind of nicked the rear bumper again I, I need to get something better on that rear bumper um, soon hopefully um, but I had just epoxied it before let me show you that so we just kind of knocked that loose on our end um, definitely need to get something a little bit better on that back end but all in all oh and I think I got a good dent in my muffler coming yeah. <laughs> coming down some stuff but other than that Good. What'd you think of it, buddy? I think it was fun. Did you have a good time? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, part I had a fun part when, so, um, when you, you know when we were driving, we were pretty much in water, and you just, you could look over and see the orange, and then you had the, pretty much all, all the way over there. Yeah. That's cool. You did a great job. Awesome, dude. First of all, thoughts on how the Jeep did? Honestly, amazing. Yeah. Uh, I hit a few rocks on the way uh, up and down, um, but I didn't really feel scared at all. And obviously, you were a great teacher. And honestly, you know, if you guys don't really understand how they are in the videos, they're just like that in real life. They're so nice. Um, you know, very giving. Right. I'll so give you your five bucks here. No, uh, five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So did you have I mean, fun though. It was a great time. Honestly, yeah, we did pretty much anything that we could have done today. Any, really any future mods you think based off of today? <laughs> Rock rails, you have to get them. Uh, honestly, that's the first thing. And then, uh, I don't even know, you're pretty stocked too, right? Up front, maybe the 
the um, front protection, and, you yeah. know, and then the winch probably. I get out there on my own. Thoughts on how the Jeep did? Well, I think it did really well. Better than I was expecting, in all honesty. Having driven my Tacoma off-road on some uh, rather interesting trails in the past, I knew what I could and couldn't get away with on that, and I can definitely get away with more here. The larger tires made a very, very big difference, I think. Plus, the Jeep has got a little bit more clearance uh, natively. I think I'm about 11 inches, maybe 11 and a half with the, with the Falcon Wild Peaks on there. What Any upgrades coming next? For oh, yeah. Rock rails are coming for sure. They're going to be ordered probably on Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the front. I love the idea of a winch, but I'm also not going places where a winch is going to do me a lot of good. But it's one of those things that it's better to have and not need than the other way around. So, um, fortunately, again, with the Trailhawk, because it's got all the skid plates underneath, uh, and they are pretty robust, especially compared to the ones on the, the 04 Tacoma, I feel pretty comfortable with what's on the underside, but I would like to protect the front so I don't have to keep taking the fascia on and off. Um, all right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for following us along. I hope you had fun watching. Again, this is Roush Creek. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you again real soon.